So, I've watched KSI Can't Lose. I did. And as of, I watched it last week I did. And then I posted a Twitter video. I must have been one of the first to see it. So now, here's a review of KSI Can't Lose. And man, it's good. So KSI Can't Lose is about the time, during the time when he started all of this with Joe and then some going up in like May and also taking some of the vlogs up until the local Paul stuff and then it ends on a bit of a phone call it does. Now, documentaries don't really have a story but this looks behind the training of KSI specifically, pulls some videos from Joe it does, the uncontrollable song is ending in the end credits. Uh, there are some little scenes there are many of the YouTubers like the Sidemen, many others do make an appearance here. Um, I do think it's very good. Now, one thing you don't know is that KSI and also Kalex was a producer of this. One of them more like an executive producer. But um, honestly, I Applaud them. Well done, Kalex. Well done, After Parties. Well done, Sony. I do think this is absolutely amazing. I would love to see more stuff like this because, again, it's just awesome. And I give this Can't Lose documentary a 10 out of 10. And if you don't like it, there is basically something wrong with you. And yeah, I do think it's okay for KSI to be vulnerable and feel emotions or whatever. That's, that's human. That is, after all, Logan Paul's a, I don't know, seems to be mutual to all of that. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace, guys. See ya. And KSI, if you're watching, show, sorry for the lazy shit editing video this was. But beat Logan. Just do it. Bye.